Welcome everyone, today I'm going to talk about so popular topic in interviews and the question sounds like uh, do we really need to implement custom repository pattern with DB context or not? In the broad sense, probably yes, usually it's a good idea, but not always. And let me explain why. If we refer to the MSDN documentation, a DB context is uh, implementation of unit of work and repository pattern here represents a combination of these patterns okay there is no like implementation but represents a combination of those patterns anyway actually i would say that db context doesn't actually implement repository pattern in the broad sense and uh, why it's a good question first of all i need to give you a uh, correct definition and the problem here is that repository is not like common pattern it's like pattern for enterprise applications you can find a lot of definitions from different books and uh, sites but i am going to refer to books that I, I have read recently okay by fowler the repository mediates between the domain and data mapping layers using a collection-like interface for accessing domain objects. Client objects construct query specifications declaratively and submit them to the repository for satisfaction. What does it mean? Your repository is just like an abstraction which exposes interface for querying data object from any data source. Let's move on. Let me refer to blue book by Evans, like the main driven design. Repository represents all objects of a certain type as a conceptual set. It acts like a collection. Sounds pretty much like the previous definition. It also provides method like exposes interface by which you can select objects based on some criteria. Let me move on with red book by Vernon, also the main driven design. A repository commonly refers to a storage location usually considered a place of safety or preservation of, I of the item stored in it. Also Vernon differentiates repository by two types, a collection oriented design repository and a persistence oriented design. You can refer it by his book. In the broad sense I can provide combination of those definitions. The repository is an abstraction which exposes your method, methods, by which you can query your domain objects and not necessarily your domain objects, any objects actually. It is an abstraction on your persistence layer. But there is no any definition repository which states that repository should be coupled to SQL based databases. There is no some kind of explanation like that. Repository is an abstraction on any stores. It could be like your files, it could be your memory, it could be no SQL database, it could be like okay, message queue, whatever. It doesn't matter, it's it's like abstract. But the DB context, you can use it only with SQL based databases. For example, Postgres, for example, SQL Server, for example, MySQL, etc. But in case if you need to change your database to NoSQL, you can't use the beacon text anymore. You should use something else. Therefore, let me refer to another one book. It's Clean Architecture by Uncle Bob. And what does it say? Uncle Bob says us that the database is a detail. Therefore, it introduces a repository pattern because repository pattern solves that problem. The database is a detail. We just create an abstraction on your database, call it repository, and we we might not think about database and about persistent storage anymore. We can just use this interface. But also, Uncle Bob states that frameworks are detail. And this is actually the problem because usually people say that, um, okay, the context is already an abstraction on your database. Why do you need to implement your custom repository? Because of that, because frameworks are details and entity framework is a framework in case you would like to use Dapper, it's not a problem for you because you have encapsulated repository and you change uh, your framework only in this repository, no problems. But in case you have something like that, like your repository is 
somewhere here. And you like query is somewhere here. Uh, just, just. You can't just replay this because you need to follow all those references and the behavior here in those methods could be like too much complicated and you can break anything whatever therefore what i state here we just implement your repository abstraction and use also this abstraction with uh, with the appropriate methods with your which you implemented you can just get all entities or something like that and in in this method you can use anything you can use db context you can use dapper you can use your files it doesn't matter much more also it makes your testing much more easier because for example yes for sure you can replace your db context with in memory db context for sure you can do that but what about transactions what about other features which in memory db context simply does not provide for you what about them therefore you need to implement custom abstraction but for sure it's not in all cases it depends on many things for example on your budget in your project maybe you don't have money to implement your custom abstraction and you don't need it for example another case when you have some kind of so simple project like this one and also you don't need and you don't have to implement the custom repository because you'll have only like two actions which return some kind of entity it doesn't matter i think you grasped my point okay thank you for your attention i'm awaiting your comments below we can discuss about that thank you and goodbye